Good everyone, as you can see from this string, which I'll bring up on the screen now, the, it, there was going on with this rifle, it's an FX Impact M3, and I just couldn't stabilise the shots. The FPS were always increasing, so obviously you're never going to get a good grouping with that. So what I did is I was checking all the regs, I was ch checked everything on that side. However, what I did notice is I was like, right, let's start from back to the basics. I'll take it all apart and see what's going on. Luckily for me, as I was stripping, because to remove the barrel on the FX Impact M3, you undo this retaining uh, grub screw, and then the barrel will slide out. And as I was about to do that, this brass ferrule here, I is a very thin, probably about two mil, is all you can see of that brass fer ferrule. And mil and a half, two mil. Um, and I noticed it was there was more of that showing. So what I did is I completely slackened off the grub screw here, and then I slid it back in. And there was movement there, and it's come back to this position here where there's only a couple of mil showing. There was probably, a, I don't know, it wasn't much. It would have been about three or four mil showing there. But once I slid that back to its correct location, then I'd done the grub screw back up. Um, I then put a, sh uh, a string through of rounds, and it was a consistent regulated pressure. So the FPS was constant. So that was basically what the problem was. It's on the slug port, it's not on the pellet port. Simulating the effects of no reg at all. So obviously I think the only thing that could have happened was, you know, obviously I've, as you cock the weapon, this is the probe, uh, it's a slug probe that I put in there. So because that grub screw was slightly loose, as I've pushed a slug from the magazine into the chamber, it must have just pushed that out and that was what was causing all the issues like I say as soon as I slid it back retained it with the grub screw um, put some rounds through it was constant so that just one to watch just get familiarized with how much of that brass ferrule is showing so that you can identify it if you have the same effects as what I was having but I'll show you the before and I'll show you the after of the strings of rounds going through it so there we go. Cheers everyone.